Greetings and welcome to the broadcast. I'm your host. We've got a good one. The Kindle Fire HD8. Look at this. This is what they call melatonin uptake inhibitor technology. Just a tap away and there it is. Now, what is this technology? Well, let's let the Kindle Fire HD8 speak for itself. This little strip of information pops up when you get ready to calibrate your new Kindle Fire HD8. First of all, you bring down a dialog box, pop it, and then comes the blue shield. This, in theory, helps to control the melatonin uptake inhibitors, etc. If you tap on this lower screen, you get the adjustments, and you can work this way up or down and put as much of this into the skull of whoever's reading this to calm them down as you, as you choose. Oddly enough, when you look here at the specs on the uh, box, you don't see anything of not only the melatonin uptake inhibitor technology, but other things as well. The operational side, these buttons are extremely tight and hardly move at all, operating almost like a strain gauge. These two buttons here, the power button and the inboard volume rocker, if you depress both those at the same time, you can take a screenshot. Uh, pretty much standard up, everything's located on one side. For those of you international affectionados, here's the international symbology on the side of the Kindle Fire HD8, and you get a full 5 watts with a charger, I'm happy to report. Well folks, now going to the operational side, this is the current iteration of the Amazon Silk browser. Uh, there's been some changes, for instance, let's just go to take a peek right up here a little bit towards the top. This is now has the dialog box, it's like a strip of uh, a movable strip. Let's just say we want to go to apps. It'll bring up the apps. To get back, you kind of go inchworm fashion to get back home, or you can hit the home button. Now, on the reading side, there's a lot to look at here. For demonstration purposes, we're going to use one of these Horatio Alger books. They're free, they're about 100 and some years old, about kids trying to start their own business and do the best they can. So, let's just go ahead and then and, and pick a page. When you're reading up here, you can give it a little tap, and sooner or later, it'll open up a little dialog box up here. Let's see if we can get that down just a little bit where you can see it easier. And these three little buttons here let you go in to a series of uh, accessories. One is called Word Runner. This is the device that flashes in the center all the words on the screen as fast as you want them to go. It has a slighted uh, adjustment. Then there's called Word Wise to someone who maybe English isn't that good. They're trying the best they can. And this will allow them to uh, have the harder words on top they already have. Uh, the definition. Now, if you were to um, push and hold, you will look at it here, and up on the bottom, let's throw I fish again, that down here on the bottom, the dictionary will pop up. Let's put the dictionary back where it belongs. And uh, when you tap the word fish, you tap this word dictionary, whatever word you want, it'll come up here, and you can, and you can see that. And that way, if somebody had either a lot of kids asking, hey, mom, what's this mean? Or again, somebody with an English as a second language situation, that could be great. Well, let's go ahead and also, while we're here, let's take a look at the artificial reading, the uh, computerized voice, and see what that sounds like this year. To start out, we simply give it a tap right here and push down here and let you hear what it sounds like. About the fish. Rather than take them from such a poor champ as Randy Thompson, I let him keep them, said Bob, glibly. But I am going to get square with him for his impudence, he added. Okay, the speakers are good. It sounded good. Uh, also, the diction was is fine. You know, there's a way down deep, there's a setting where the punctuation, like an exclamation mark or a question mark, you can adjust how much temper you want that to put on. Uh, I've never seen a Kindle with that before. So as you look at this device, more and more for this price point, it really offers quite a bit. Now, if you've had a Kindle before, you know there's some settings up here. We still have the normal uh, colors where we can go to the black and white reading at night or something like that if we want to do. But one of the things that is new is we've already been told to get rid of uh, the blue light, blue green. However, down here there's an actual sea green uh, that you can look at. Let's see if we can actually maybe uh, put this down just a bit. And for the people out on YouTube, maybe they can see a little bit better if we, if we turn it down. So you can see there's more of a green here than there has before. This green, apparently, this is maybe what lifts you up with a melatonin and the blue blocker takes you down. Who knows? But it's good to know that these features are included in a device like this. 
Now, one thing this is just made to do is to listen to audio books. There's a lot of free audio books out there now as well. We're just going to go ahead and tap on here and let you listen to how these speakers sound real quickly to give you a sense of the, uh, the new system. Domain, Chapter 7, Jalalabad, 1842. Position of the town, Sales Brigade rebuilds the defenses, a sortie, bad news, a queer noise, a ruse that did not succeed. Now that's a very rich, one of the best, what we call a tablet sounds I've ever heard. These speakers don't fire downward, they fire outward, and there's two of the speakers facing this way, facing towards the person. Great sound, I've listened to several audio books, it does a good job. Now, embedded in a lot of these apps that come with this, one characteristic, if you try to go up just one row like that, it won't let you do it. If you try to go up two, it won't let you do it. It's going to snap all three or nothing. So this is kind of a technique that they perhaps use for power users, I don't know. Let's just take an example, go down to this clock, for instance. You tap on the clock, and they give you a lot here, they, they really do. Over here, there's some, let's see if we get this down so you can see it a little bit. Uh, let's just take one of these things here. You can look at this, you can tap this, and this will uh, give you kind of an alarm clock or a stop clock, stopwatch. Uh, going over here, we have, uh, you can set the numbers right over here for a, uh, a wake-up call. Over here, let you, not much to do with this one. And then this alarms allows you to set up alarm clocks by turning this around here. That gives you a lot uh, there for a, little, for a little free app. You've got the calculator and things like that. And... Uh, Again, bang for the buck, does a good job. If you were to take a screenshot, we'll, for instance, we'll take a screenshot right now of this home page. Okay, this is an actual picture. You may remember I told you how to use the inboard volume rocker and the power button at the same time to take a screenshot. If you were to, oh, let's just say you went up and tapped it here and went up to this little crayon, this would allow you to do a, a series of editing features. Now, all these palettes down here along the bottom this is a lot for to be included for free. Let's just say, for instance, in the draw icon, you were to tap, uh, oh, on the small pencil, and say, from now on, I don't want you guys to look at this or look at this, but I want you to go over here. Well, great. Uh, you go ahead and apply it and have it save that and tell you it's done. But when you're done with that, it allows you to have an option. Let's just say you, you finish this. You can tap right up here to this and it says email, and you can tap this. I don't want to really give my... You would just be able to send that email-wise, snap, just that quick, and the editing function will be done. So you can see, indeed, there's tight integration with the apps. Now, we're, gonna, we're winding down here now, but I would like you to see how does this treat a second-party app in two things, reading and the artificial voice. Our old favorite here, the uh, Takarta Bible, will pop that one up. And what we'll do, we'll go ahead down here and play uh, a sample of the, uh, the verse here. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Okay, that doesn't sound bad. There's also down here another setting that will override that called what they call the settings. And you could turn this voice up uh, the uh, cadence faster and also the... Uh, pitch of the voice and listen to this in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth See and that lets you just that quick it goes back to where it's supposed to go when you hit defaults This is considered really really good for a second party app for something now, again. This is free All this stuff is in the, the, the second party app is free. The Kindle is fairly stock We haven't had to download anything over here in the ES file browser If you want to look into the system a little bit, this is kind of interesting uh, As we get fired up here down here. This is what the internal memory is Almost by the time you turn it on, it consumes almost all the internal memory, even if you don't do too much. Down here, however, is an SD card we've applied, uh, a 64 gig, and it's hardly even used at all. It will go from left to right like a gas gauge to fill itself up. People have been crying out over and over again to have SD cards in these Kindles, and these have it. So overall, the assessment is you get a lot of bang for the buck here. You, it does a great job playing audiobooks, has good speakers, good form factor size. Battery life is so-so. Uh, takes a little getting used to with the new, uh, the, the new um, Silk browser. But but what a what a treat! We have also down here. We've put in the TubeMate down here, and it does a great job downloading YouTube's as well. We'll take care of best to you.
And uh, Lord bless all you guys if you get this around the holidays. If not, we want to wish you well here at McIsencraft. And uh, peace to you all. Bye for now.